Perfect. Um, hi. Um, good evening, Christian. First of all, thank you for um, replying to my message. Uh, my apologies uh, for the late response. Uh, I was cut up with a client all afternoon, but anyway, like I said in my message, if you're tired of posting social media, trying to get clients, or answering to people trying to, you know, looking for quotes when they post on groups and that kind of stuff, this might be a good alternative uh, to see how many people are looking for your services, right? So if I, I was trying to find more information about your business, and the only thing that came out was your Facebook profile page, I think this is you, of course, the, of course, the images, so nothing uh, popping up, right? Uh, so I'm not sure how you're getting clients, um, if, uh, if that's the case. Um, by the pace of your, you know, by your Facebook page, I assume that you do some type of uh, decking, uh, masonry, landscaping kind of thing, the clean up. Uh, but what I find most, more interesting is uh, that you do um, bathrooms, for example. This is a bathroom, I think. Um, and you do also, uh, this is a nice bathroom, uh, actually. And you also do, you also do kitchens. So um, uh, for the purpose of the video, and to show you, if I go to Google and I type uh, kitchen remodeling in St. Petersburg, Florida, the first thing you're going to see here, this is sponsored by Google. This is like Google Ads. Uh, the only difference is that they're going to ask you for more um, like licenses, uh, insurance, that kind of thing. Excuse me. Uh, the next thing we have is uh, the local uh, map section. And this is something that you should uh, consider if, if you don't have one. Get a Google business um, profile. It's simple. It's free. A um, couple of steps. And um, like I said, very easy. And you can be here. Uh, once you get your profile, what you need to do is make sure you have uh, relevant content, optimize images, and of course, reviews. If you get reviews, reply to those reviews. People love, I mean, Google loves to see that. Then we have your organic results, right? This is kind of new thing over here. Um, this kind of new, like I was saying, uh, people ask um, maybe for uh, some questions kind of thing. Um, and then we have number one, we got this guy, CMK Construction. Number two, we got this onestopkitchens.com. Number three, we got Yelp. But uh, just for you to know, almost 70% of the people that do a Google search go for the top three here and the top three over here. That means that let's 70, less than 30% will actually go to the all the all scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page or actually go to the second or third page. So that being said, let, let's see why these guys are ranking number one really quick. And oops, let me close this. And what are the benefits, right? So here we go. We have these guys um, page over here, uh, but I'm going to make sure to point this out. It's a sub page, so that means that they're not covering only St. Petersburg in Florida. Um, I've been covering more areas. But um, if you want to have a website and take these tips, because most people tend to underestimate or ignore. If you want to have a website and you want your website to be functional, showing up on Google searches, the first thing you have to understand is that you need relevant content with the keywords that people are looking for, people are searching for, right? So when I say relevant content, I'm talking more about all these texts that a website has. When you add something like, for example, these guys, kitchen and bathroom remodeling in St. Petersburg, right? That's a keyword right there. I'm going to show you. They add this as a, as a keyword, like a title, if that makes sense. I don't know if you know, if you know about a programming or not, but um, you know, this is like a title kind of thing. And then you surround this with a lot of relevant content. Google loves to see that. Why is this important? Because when you upload your website, the first thing that Google does is read all of this, right? All of this text. And it's not that they actually have a, a human being reading this and approving. It's actually an algorithm going on, a software, if you will. And if it doesn't make sense on the end, you're not going to be showing up on Google search, right? So you can see here they have content, 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 a lot of content. They have all these sub pages here, bathrooms, all these uh, different types and, you know, uh, divisions, if you will, I don't know, so ca categories. Kitchen, same thing, uh, cabinets, kind of residential remodeling. So again, not really sure, um, you, know, you know, all your services, but we're going to go with this really quick. Now, I use this tool called Address, and what this that is, uh, it, this picks data from any website based on Google criteria. So basically, it's like a Google partner kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 
So this guy, this specific subpage for CMK construction is being found for 87 keywords and they have around 65 backlinks. Now, this is the second most important thing about ranking on Google and that kind of stuff. What are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites or other websites that are mentioning your name or your business name or your website. And this will give you the power so you can, so, so you can be found on Google. Think about like a popularity contest. And I always say this, the more people you get to talk about you, the more relevant you're going to become, the more relevant you're going to stay. Same thing happens here with uh, backlinks. So that being said, let's see what kind of keywords they're being found for really quick based on the content that they have on the website and the backlinks are supporting the credibility in the eyes of Google. So bathroom remodel, San Petersburg, San Petersburg, Florida. There's roughly 60, 60 searches a month. That means that's roughly 60 people search this every month. And because of ranking number two, they're getting 26, 26 visits. Now, if you ask me, those these are 26 chances they get to have a client that's looking for this every month. Uh, a variation, I mean, different keyword. Kitchen remodel, San Petersburg, uh, Florida, 30 searches a month. Again, roughly 30 people search, searching this every month. Because the ranking number two, again, the ranking on the top, they get 10 visits. If you do the math, again, 36, 36 chances they get to have a client that either is looking bathroom or kitchen remodel. Bathroom remodeling, some Pittsburgh variation, right? 20 searches a month. So the ranking number three, they get another five. So you get the idea. There's a lot, there's decent um, amount of people looking for your services in that specific area. Now, I don't know what other, what other areas you, you cover, uh, but let's say that these guys, let's, let's see the homepage, how he's doing and what are the keywords that they ranking right now. Ah, they, uh, I mean, that might be close to you. Uh, uh, people like to travel half an hour, I mean, 40, 50 miles um, of, a, of a radius. So you can see here, bathroom remodel Tampa, there's 250 searches a month because of ranking number two, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. I mean, I really see these guys, I mean, a, a local page ranking like this. Um, I see the big companies most of the time, but this, this means that they know the value, they know the research, um, they know how important is content. And again, Kitchen Roller in Tampa, another 100 searches a month because again, they're ranking number two, they got another 43. So you get the idea, right? There's a lot of people searching for specific services in your area and the area surrounding. And this may be, you know, your main competitor, if you will. Overall, they're being found for 1,100 keywords and they have over 728 backlinks. Yeah, they know what they're doing. So um, I don't want to, to take, you know, to make this video too long and take too much of the time. So if you want to get clients landing on your website, uh, SEO might be a really good uh, option. If you're tired of posting on social media, trying to get clients. For some people, for some uh, business owners, it uh, works 100%. For some others, it doesn't work. So um, I hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, thank you for watching.